Hello, fellow traders. Nutty Bar Trading coming to you. It is Tuesday, October the 1st. Crazy that we are already in October. And a couple things to go over with Apex first uh, before we dive into how my day went. So first, they extended the sale again. So I know you're shocked. Um, but yeah, they extended the sale and the promotion for the $85 lifetime fees until another nine days. But... There's also been like I'm hearing and different people that are commenting in my chat saying that they are basically the probationary status. And there's like a probationary status regarding your accounts and people are being put on a probationary status and that didn't get the email. I honestly don't know what that's all about. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to get some answers. I have some questions that I was told I will be getting answers from at by the end of today. Um, I don't have them as of now. If I get them, I'll make sure to do a video. Just keep you guys in the loop on. I don't know. I guess I think we all have some questions. Basic questions are, you know, what causes someone to be put in the probationary status? I have seen people that are new to Apex being put on probationary. I've seen people that have been traded a long time, people that are not profitable, people that are profitable. It really, I have a hard time seeing any rhyme or reason in the probationary status. It doesn't, I, I can't make any sense out of it. So trying to get some clarity on that and then also trying to get some clarity on how do you get out of it. Um, now, I did see a couple of people that even though they are in a probationary status. Their account balance was to the point where they could withdraw. They can request a payout. They just can't request a payout into the buffer zone. And I saw screenshots of people that requested that were in a probationary status that requested a payout, didn't take out their buffer and have already been approved, which is great. And on the other side, like the payout process that Apex currently has is actually really good and that's why this whole probationary thing is very frustrating because apex it seems like the the process for for, for doing payouts has drastically improved i'm seeing a lot of people that are getting requesting a payout and they're being approved within 24 hours and paid out like almost immediately like payout approval process and it's just that gray area and unknown right now of what does this whole thing about probation mean and what like what does that look like what does it mean um i'm uh, i'm with you guys i have no idea so i'm trying to figure it out i'm trying to find out and as soon as i find out i'll make sure to do a video and just keep you guys informed um it's the least i can do but I wish I could tell you more answers. I really can't. Um, all right, diving into my trading for the day. Um, oh, man, to be honest, I, I'm pretty frustrated right now. Uh, let's go over. I'll just go over the day. So um, we obviously this morning, we had a massive, massive sell-off um, from the 260s. We just kept selling off all the way down to the 20,000 level we had a bounce um looking for a short obviously going with the trend i entered right here and i took my first profit here so when we had this big volatility i switched to four micros instead of one mini um just because of the volatility um yeah i kind of got scared out of that trade um i really should have held i should have held and I was looking for a profit target of the equal lows here and I basically chickened out. I just chickened out and ended up with a small profit, I think like $40, $50. Um, then we continued lower and got another really good entry right here. This time I took my entry, I took the trade and this is with four micros. We were like up, I think close to $270 that we captured here. We entered here and I took my profit all the way down here at the 890s. So a really good trade, about a 60 point trade. 
which is really good, really good for me. I was very happy. We were up close. We were up over $300 per account. And obviously, um, I feel like when I started to make a mistake this morning was right here. And we came up, we tested the EMA, we started pulling back. And right here is my entry. I should have entered as a short right here. And I started second guessing and I didn't pull the trigger and I talked myself out of the trade because I thought we had gone down so much already that it was just seemed like we weren't going to continue lower. And I'm not a big fan of that. Um, and it was just another reminder for me in the way that my personality is and how I trade. I have to experience this every so often, but I would much rather take this trade and get stopped out than not take the trade and see it do exactly what I want it to do. And it, it kind of frustrated me a little bit um, when I didn't take this trade. And it is what it is. But then uh, we started making a move higher. And we made a move above the EMA. And we, could, we started getting some buyers in here. And this was a nice pullback. I had a really nice entry here. Um, and I switched my bias to long. And you can see, boom, ripped it down, stopped me out, and then went right to my profit target. Um, I should have stopped trading at this point. Um, this kind of trade, that always triggers me. And uh, I should have just stopped trading at that point. I didn't. Um, we got another setup here. I took that setup. And as you can see, we were a little bit in the profit and then rip lower and stop me out. And now we've just kind of continued to go sideways. Thankfully, this is where I feel like this is an area of my trading that I feel like I have significantly improved compared to 10 months ago, Nutty Bar. 10 months ago, Nutty Bar, I would have ended the stream and then I would have continued trading off stream and possibly blown the accounts. Because right here at this point, getting stopped out here, I was, I was on, I was starting to go on tilt, and I I can identify that now. And when I when that start when that happened, I just went to my guardian angel trader and I shut down my trading for the day. And now I'm done. I'm walking away for the day. It feels like it feels like we had like a four or five hundred dollar losing day per account. That is how I feel. But in reality, we made $30 per account. It's not much, but it's still better than a $400 red day. But it really does feel like it feels like we had a red day uh, just because of how everything went. But yeah, we, it's not all bad and uh, it's, it's okay. It's not a terrible day. And the fact that we're walking away, that's a good thing. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow. And uh, anyway, that's all I got. Again, uh, stay tuned. If I get more information regarding the probations and stuff, I will make sure to let you guys know. Until then, take care. Have a great rest of your day. And God bless.